Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Kryn. I'm Baron and we are about to enter a strange looking town. This main street leads into Dalsama. From the west you smell rotten vegetables. Zombies fill a market to the east. A dog lurches past pursued by an undead child. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, at least the map works. Oh yeah, and I wanted to show you. Um, Rekaldaria now is a level 11 Knight of the Rose. With more than 2 million experience points. Awesome. Um, no new items for her. Randy Spears now has a Maze of Disruption. Awesome. That's That will come in very handy when we are fighting the undead. And I actually gave the maze to him and not to Rekel, because he is already on the 14th level and he has a lower tackle than Rekel. That means the chances are higher that he actually connects with this baby here. Um, do you have anything new? Oh yeah. Sylvia Saint now uh, has a pair of gauntlets of Ogre power equipped. Um, they increase her strength to a neat 18100. Which means all my three melee fighters, Rekel, Randy and Sylvia, are now pretty powerful. S strong, I mean. Very strong, it's nice. It, I mean, it, it really does wonders for her attacker and damage. See, attacker 5, damage 1d6 plus 8. If you unequip that, it's 7 and 1d6 plus 7. So, hmm. really much better. Um, nothing changed with Durfee here. What do you have? Oh yeah, one of the ring that I found turned out to be a ring of protection plus 3. I gave it to Zara Whites and she gave her ring of protection plus 2 to Genevieve Jolie. Um, Nothing else is new here for her. Oh uh, yes, and uh, I have a red mage scroll of uh, Disintegrate Iron Skin and Fire Shield to bad. She already knows all those spells, so I will sell that scroll. And I'm not, you know, one to keep all those spells. I mean, they might come in handy every now and then, but then the inventory is so limited, since you can't really, you can't scroll to another page here. So you have, like, maybe space for four or five more items, and then the inventory is full. So I will really only keep what I might use and what is really useful and not what might come in handy every now and then. Stuff like that will I will just sell or throw away. It just um, clutters up the inventory. And Kobe Tai uh, got a cleric level. She is a level 12 Mishakal cleric. And that actually is the end for her. Because if you happen to be a Kanda cleric, you can only progress to the 12th level. And not only in Death Knights of Kryn, but also in the Dark Queen of Kryn. And that is rather unfortunate that we have reached that <laughs> even in Death Knights of Kryn. We're probably maybe like two-thirds of the game are completed now. So she will not get another cleric level ever again in this trilogy. And that's really unfortunate. But then again, I, well, f from now on half of her experience will be wasted. But I still think it's worth it. I mean, a candle is useful because of her ability to yell that uh, increases the taco and the armor class of the enemies. And she can't be afraid. That's good if you're fighting death knights or something like that. So I think it's r reasonable to have a candle in your party. And then a r the only class that a candle can raise unlimitedly in is the thief and the pure class thief is really not that useful it's like you're, you're wasting a lot of potential here um, so I think it's a good idea to make a cleric thief and uh, come on a 12 level cleric is nothing to sneeze at so yeah I still think it was a good choice if I would restart that LP I would probably make Zara Whites and Genevieve Jolie multi-class mages but that's probably the only maybe a 
fighter and cleric, something like that. Probably the red mage would be a fighter because then she could use a mirror image uh, when she's going into combat, and Zerobites would be a cleric, right? um, a cleric mage. But that's the only change I would probably do. Okay, moving on. Zombie merchants fill the farmer's market. Under children play in the central area. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow this uh, town is a duplicate of um, Cerberus. Oh, a towering lich approaches and bows. Welcome to Dalsoma. I am the mayor here. Have you perchance ever visited Cerberus? Yes, in the last video. The lich seems pleased. Ah, a fine town. Dulcima is, Dulcima is built in its honor. By whom? You may explore freely, with two exceptions. Stay away from the eastern exit and also my private chamber. Obey these laws and you will have no trouble here. The lich departs. Hmm, a friendly lich. Uh, a civilized lich. That's nice. You face a reeking chicken coop. Enter the coop? Yeah. You startle a flock of zombie chickens. They flap all over the coop, filling the air with decomposing feathers. Okay, let's leave. It's on the other side. This is the town's common garden. The odor of rotting vegetables nearly overwhelms you. Under red scurry among the rows. Moldy rutabaga squelches underfoot. What do we get here then? Nothing. Oh, it's day. Vermin covered asparagus is planted here. Yeah, it's the same vegetables apparently, but this is this version is rotten. The seasoned broccoli lies in rows here. Okay. We move on. The main section of Dalsuma lies before you. The undead citizens carry on mundane tasks as though they were still alive. Through this gateway lies Voicewood, where no evil may enter. May trespass. Enter Voicewood? Yes. A strong magical barrier prevents you from entering Voicewood. A specter appears. It speaks before you can attack. Wait. I have information of benefit to us both. Will you listen? Yes. Good. Destroying the Lich will allow you to enter Voicewood and will free me from Dulcima. Find the Lich's phylactery, the jar into which its soul flees if its body is destroyed. Destroy the phylactery and the Lich and the Lich will be gone forever. The phylactery is buried somewhere in town, but you won't be able to find it before you fight the Lich. Okay. Moving on then, what's in here? A sign reads Muddy Plate Tavern. The tavern keeper was only recently killed. He peers at you through his good eye. Care for a drink? M rather not. You politely decline. Uh, if, it's, if zombies drink that, I don't want it. I don't want any part of it. A sign proclaims muddy straw in. An extremely decomposed zombie lurches towards you. It makes a gobbling noise gesturing around the inn, then shuffles away. Just draw across with vermin. You have no desire to rest here. Yeah, goodbye. You find a man imprisoned in some stocks. He is alive, but not for much longer. Free him? Yes. He staggers to his feet and thanks you. Listen, he says. I was scourging for food in the garden and found some sort of jar buried there. It looked magical. Aha! Uh -huh. That's where the phylactery is. Well, before we go in there, we save. You've interrupted a zombie card game. A pile of treasure lies atop the card table. They attack. I didn't know that zombies were able of playing cards. What do we have? Just a few zombie giants. Okay. Good riddance. Maybe not. 
Q delay. Ah, that's stupid. You can't get to us now. Easy. Oh, there's another one. That's too far away. Good night. Okay, the party has found treasure. What do we get? <coughs> Money, two jewelries, five gems, and 200 steel. You know what I was talking about, the uh, single class mages? Um, in the beginning of the video, there's, of course, as always, another side to it. Because in the Dark Queen of Grin, there are certain monsters that only take damage from spells if the mage has a certain level. Because if he is high level enough, then he can overcome the magic resistance of the enemy. So a very high level single class mage will be very handy there. So, well, as you can see, there's always pros and cons. A scroll. Okay, we take all that. Thank you. Um, what else? Giant zombie stomp towards you. Really? Um, what's that? A skeletal giant. Okay. Could we try to turn them? Nothing happens. Uh, a skeletal giant. You would probably need a blunt weapon for them. Ah, uh, target. Thanks. Uh, you could try to turn. Nothing happens. If you move away, you probably get attacked. So you don't do it. Um, you have a maze of disruption. Hmm, nice. Twenty, dead. Sixteen, awesome. Oh well, you don't throw darts at skeletons. That's stupid. 24, and down it goes. Oh, Maze of Disruption is a very nice weapon. No treasure though. Where are we? Okay. Yeah, we already, we have been here already. There's nobody in here. 
Okay, let's go in here then. The door leading into Town Hall is wormy and decaying, and to Town Hall? Yep. The Town Hall stretches before you. The stench in this enclosed space is almost overpowering. Almost. The sign reads Mayor's Quarters. Enter and be destroyed. What do we have here? This is a guard's room. Forbidden one guard croaks before they attack. Okay. Have it your way. Oops. Turn. Nothing happens. Turn. Ah, shit. Maze of disruption. Spectre is disrupted. Missed. Shit. Disrupted. Disrupted. Spectre goes down. Okay, that worked nicely. Nobody got level drained. Didn't you have a shield somewhere? Yep. Armor class of minus 12. <laughs> Boom. Missed. Down it goes. Previous and oh shit! Well, it's not that much of a problem. Night. And we are done. No, thank you. One of the guards crack cackles weakly. You haven't seen the last of us, he coughs. When our backup arrive, they'll cut out your hearts. When our backups arrive. Okay, we shall see. A second regiment of guards attacks. Oh, he actually was right. Oh well. And more spectres I should have saved. Disrupted. Disrupted. Okay, no level draining. Who has been hurt? You. Good night. You really gotta love the maze of disruption. If you're fighting the undead.
Oh. Good night. That was it. For the backup. Fix. Save. Oh. Oh yeah, I never had that one. Oh, did I? Introduction 1, introduction 9? No, I didn't have it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, seven, eight, nine. The question is, the end isn't that a word? Let's see, computer. Yep, it is it. Let's write it down here. And we save here. Let's say hi to the Lich. This is Dr. the Lich Mayor's quarters. Do you want to enter and confront the Lich? Sure thing. The Lich's face twists with rage. Your disobedience has cost you your lives. Not yet. The Lich attacks in a murderous frenzy. Um, ah, you shouldn't attack in a frenzy. You should be cu cool and calculating and stuff. Hm. If you attack in a frenzy, you die. See? And the party has won. Each character receives 1662 experience points, but no treasure. The lich's body lies immobile before you, yet you sense that you are still in danger. Danger, danger. Okay, so since we know a brisk breeze li rises in the town, since we know that his phylactery is in the and a garden here. We look for it. The breeze strengthens into a howling wind. There's a mount here as if something were buried under the asparagus. Dig? Yep. You find an ornate magical jar and realize it is the lich's phylactery. You smash it into pieces. The underground you collapse into heaps. A great onus of evil has been lifted from this town. And we gain experience. Ah, that's pretty much it. So, well, we could leave for Voicewood now. But we will actually do that in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.